Here are some features that should be added to default scratch. And by the way, it's actually possible to get these features through extensions like Scratch Add-ons, which I'll leave a link to in the description. Let's get started. First on our list is Dark Mode. Scratch recently changed its color scheme, and even added a high contrast mode, so I feel like adding Dark Mode shouldn't be too big of a stretch. Not only would it look very cool, Dark Mode also reduces power usage and eye strain, and if we're going to be coding for a large period of time, that's probably going to be something you'll appreciate. Speaking of new schemes, symbols on the icons for the different block categories would also be great. This would be useful for people that are colorblind or have impaired vision, and it would make it a lot easier to navigate the menus for beginners in general too. Scratch's costume editor is actually quite nice, and it's pretty beginner friendly too. But one noticeable thing that's missing is an opacity slider. Here in the color selector, you can pick any color you want, but you can't change its transparency. So this feature, which is accessible via Scratch Addons by the way, allows you to change how transparent a shape is, which can be especially useful for UI design or even games and animations too. Speaking of the costume editor, one feature that I really like on other programs is the snapping feature, which allows you to perfectly line shapes up. And while this may not seem like a huge deal at first, this feature makes designing stuff on Scratch so much easier and more precise as well. For example, if you're trying to design some user interfaces or stuff like that, you can now very easily line up all of the elements, instead of pulling out a ruler and seeing if they're level with each other. And my video where I made floppy bird of some motion blocks, which is linked in the description, would have just not been possible without this feature, as I had to make sure all the different elements were perfectly aligned. One weird thing about Scratch is how there's no message asking you are you sure you want to continue when doing things like deleting sprites or even sharing and unsharing projects. I still remember when I was first starting out on Scratch and deleted a sprite by accident. I didn't notice until it was far too late. And this isn't a super advanced or complicated feature either, it's literally just a simple dialog box. And this can definitely prevent lots of headaches for beginners. Knowing where your mouse pointer is can actually be quite useful. For example, you can set the position of sprites more easily by looking at the X and Y position of your mouse. This feature would also be extremely useful for beginners, as knowing how the X and Y coordinates work can be quite challenging to a younger audience which Scratch mostly has. So this display, I mean possible by Scratch Add-ons, is super useful by allowing you to know exactly where your mouse pointer is. So those are some of the features that I think should be added to default Scratch. And remember, these features are already available with Scratch Add-ons, which I'll link in the description. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time.